All right, Kevin. This is it, man. This is it. First ride. We're doing it today. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. You put gas in your bike? Uh, no. No. I was hoping we could stop in Wilder on the way. <laughs> I got I got I got one speck of gas in there. You got one speck. Well, all right. We'll, <laughs> I think that's the first stop. What's up? We'll put some gas in. You got oil in there? I sure hope so. Yeah, I see a little oil yeah, in there. Oil right. in there. Oil's good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely. So what's the plan for today? Well, uh, we're going to go on a little ride, I think. Go up to Vail. Up that way, there's a road, Lytle Road, that I've never been on. I want to see that. And then up to the Waihee Reservoir, back around. Maybe go to Adrian, Homedale, and back around. Make a nice, you know, it'll be a short loop. I mean, I don't know. It shouldn't be, but I don't know, 60, 80 miles. But it should be fun. should be fun. When was the last time you were up there? Uh, last time I was, that oh, was last year. I was up to uh, Waihee last year, so. Okay. We'll see. Right. We'll see what's up. It's exciting. We'll see some curves. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Hi there, you guys. What you doing? You're beautiful. There goes Kevin. All right. First stop. First stop. Gas. Yeah. All right. See you down there. Good old Wilder. Well, Kevin got his gas in Wilder, and we're headed to the Hawaii Reservoir. We're gonna get some twisty roads and stuff, but we're on Red Top Road, taking the direct route over in uh, old pavement today. But this is the state line right here, and. Uh, we're just crossing over, just crossing over into Oregon. We're in Oregon now, and this is an interesting part of Oregon because it's east of the Snake River, but still Oregon. Kind of, they're kind of like orphans over here. Gorgeous day. Just crossing this uh, Snake River here at Adrian. Well, we're going to drop into the Hawaii River down here. We're just at the, uh, what, the north end of the canyon. We'll be there pretty soon. It's sure pretty. Right up here in the bend is the Snively Hot Springs. Good Hawaii cliffs and rocks right here. Get a picture of this. Oh yeah, there's some cars over there, some people in the hot springs. Hot springs, they're just undeveloped. You get down in the rocks, it's pretty fun. There's some, uh, I hear some pretty raucous parties down here. And some kind of activities you might want to avoid. But anyway, it's a hot springs. You get down there at the right time and enjoy that. Pretty doggone cool. There's Kevin. How about that? How was it? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. How about those curves? Not bad. It's pretty fun, huh? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So, yeah, you can motor through that stuff pretty pretty good so there's a lot of people fishing oh yeah absolutely yeah absolutely so hey, is this this is where the glory hole is right yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna pull over there 
just just stop over here, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll pull over. And there's the glory hole. Oh, they fixed this up so you could uh, better observation point some parking I guess let's pull over here holy crap that is straight down it's beautiful though so I just run into this guy from uh, the YE project and uh, just gonna unlock the gate and we're gonna take some pictures out there from uh, from the dam so we'll follow him out there all right thank you I'm gonna go right out here in the middle take a look I haven't been out here in the longest time See what this looks like. Oh my. Yeah, that's a long ways down. Check this out, Kevin. Yeah, don't drop your glasses. <laughs> Woo! Buddy! Hey, help me take my bike up here? Yeah, you put your bike right here. We'll take pictures of it. You should be able to just wheelie it up there. I'm my, phone out. my goodness, what a nice day. It, oh, yeah. It's a nice day. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm Dan. Chris. Chris, nice to know you. Nice to know you. It's been a long time, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. Not a problem, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is fabulous. And we like to do this, but uh, it's just not very often we have a lot of time to do it. So. Right. Well, it's, uh, I grew up on this reservoir. My dad had a cabin up at Fisherman's Cove, okay. built in 1967, and he sold it uh, around 1990, I suppose. Yeah, so I've, I've navigated this lake both daylight and dark I can't tell you how many times over the years but but I've lived in Washington State now for you know past 30 years so this is like coming home been a pretty good year did the lake completely fill we hit 82 percent I think was max but it sat there at 82 for almost a month and a half nice yep. yeah so it's like Incoming water with the outgoing was just beautiful. Now, was, when I look at the river below, it appears like there's more water running below than usual. Well, we have 150 cubic feet per second running uh, approximately right now. Yeah. It's definitely more than last year. Yeah. Um, last year they did a lot of pumping from the Snake River compared to, you know, just letting it flow. But oh. We're still trying to conserve this year to make sure that. Well, next year, it's like, <laughs> this thing only fills like once every yeah. 15 years or something. We're and hoping with conserving and a good winter again, it could fill easily this year. Or we could get skunked. You could get you skunked, know. you never know. It, I don't know, we're in a pretty good pattern for moisture. Or maybe it'll hold. We'll see. We'll see. But I've been, man... I've, I've gone on the dirt bike, you know, I've followed the roads out up to Dry Creek. I've been on the other end by Rome. I've been on that ridge up there. Mm -hmm. I've been coming on that ridge. That road that drops down here is brutal. It is a monster. Yeah. It's brutal on a motorcycle, all that loose rock. Um, I've been stranded up above Cherry Creek. <laughs> when uh, get, in, uh, get a rain and get in the gumbo. And, yeah, I've got some ex I've got some experience here. This is my first year that I had to go up to the to the top up there. Yeah. Uh, to our radio repeater towers. Oh. Oh man, was 
has hit a monster in the truck. It's, oh shoot, it, that loose, it's so loose. It, it, it was brutal. What bothered me was the big boulders that stuck up super <laughs> high and trying to get, you know. To get through there with your four wheel drive, yeah. It was rough, man. So, no, this is a, this is incredible, incredible uh, piece of geography here. A lot of it's it's kind of a hidden treasure people don't know. You probably remember a time when this was completely open to everybody. You could walk out on the dam. I I do. Oh yeah. Kid. Oh yeah. And same with out there. And, uh, yeah, I've been here when there was so much water going down the glory hole. They would ingest a whole bunch of air and then and then and then, then burp spout out. It's it's impressive. It, It'll come back out and get you wet on top. Oh, wow. oh yeah. It, uh, my dad tells me stories about when he was in high school. He says he never did, but a lot of the guys he knew would walk around the ring. He says he, he wasn't dumb. He says he was a little... little. I've dumb. never seen anybody do that. And I've had nightmares it's about... It's you think, especially if you stay on the concrete side. Yeah. On the outside, but uh, I just... I've never wanted to. No. I wanted to. I'm no. I'm pretty scared of heights, so it's... No, I, I it just exactly, yeah, exactly. I remember having nightmares about being out there on a boat and the motor quits and you're drifting towards the hole. And well, talking about that, one of the cabins up there, a uh, uh, on party boat. Oh yeah. Got dislodged. They weren't there. Evidently. Oh it yeah. Right off. It made its way all the way down the reservoir. Oh no. It wasn't unmanned, and it made it into the glory hole one year. And we have the remnants of what's it's, of it. it went down and spit it out. Oh my gosh. That locally sourced aggregate. Mixed it right here and then cabled it all the way to the top and dumped it. Seven. Seven yards. This is, this is flat amazing. Right up here, it's what we call the bounced rock. You can see why. Look up there. Thing sticks up like a drumstick. Just bounced up there. My dad first pointed that out to me when I was a kid. And it's it's just upriver a little bit from Snively, Snively uh, Hot Springs. was cool we got it we got a nice we got a nice what they call that a firecracker sausage Delicious. oh my gosh it was good and then uh yeah then what that that tour we got that was 
That was great. That was, that was good, good stuff, stuff man. man. That was good. And yeah, making friends everywhere we go.